Welcome, dear friends, to Kardec Radio at 11 p.m., nourishing our souls with one more, The Spirit of Truth. This book that came along in 1961, 60 years ago, through two mediums, Chico Xavier, right here, and Valdo Vieira. Today, we're going to listen to the spirit author Albino Teixeira. Yes, right here. Yes, Albino Teixeira. I'll tell you more about him in a minute, but let us recall this book is titled The Spirit of Truth. Why? Because the truth sets us free. And in spiritism, we come to know that the spirit of truth was guiding Kardec throughout his mission. Mm -hmm. And a group of spirits guided by the spirit of truth brought to us the consoling messages of spiritism. We are within ourselves, recharging ourselves with the truth. And why am I saying this? Because many things that go wrong in our life happen because we don't know of things or because we ignore them. Sometimes it's like driving. We know the rule. We know the law. And we don't practice. We're going to get a citation. Yeah? Take it. Sometimes we're just like that in life. But today, the message is profound. It's about reconciliation. It's inspired in chapter 10 of the book, The Gospel According to Spiritism. Chapter 10 is about blessed are the merciful. And items five and six of chapter 10 are our guidance. It's when Kardec quotes from Matthew chapter 5, verses 25 to 26, when Jesus said, be reconciled as quickly as possible with your adversary while you are with him on the way so that he does not hand you over to the judge. And so that the judge does not hand you over to the minister of justice, so that you may not be imprisoned. Verily, I say to you that you will not leave there as long as you have not paid the last farthing. And then Kardec explains, in the practice of forgiveness, and the good in general, there's more than a moral effect. There is also a physical effect. We know that death does not free us from our enemies. In their hatred, vengeful spirits often pursue beyond the grave those against whom they harbor rancor. Thus the proverb that states, the beast dead, the venom is dead. Is erroneous when applied to human beings. An evil spirit awaits the one against whom it wishes evil to be imprisoned in the body, and less free in order to more easily torment it, striking it in its interests or dearest affections. In this fact, one can see the cause of most cases of obsession, especially those that display a certain gravity such as subjugation and possession. Obsessed and possessed persons are therefore almost always victims of a prior revenge with which they probably caused by their conduct. Well, the message by Kardec goes on and on in item six of chapter 10 of the Gospel According to Spiritism. Inspired in that passage of the Gospel, Albino Teixeira comes to you and I to talk about this message. Who is Albino Teixeira? He was a Brazilian spiritist who became um, 
very devoted to spiritism. He was a medium. He was uh, a practicing past giver. Albino Teixeira, they say, was very loving, very kind. And it's said that he continues doing that in the spiritual realm. So let us feel the presence of Albino Teixeira with us. Shall we, friends? He's going to tell us about the shield of life. Wow. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. Right? Everybody, let's come along. Albino Teixeira says, do not wait for the perfect friend to do the works of the good. Do you wait? Often we do. Often we say, if my husband, my wife, my brother, my sister, my friend, my I would dedicate myself so much more. But he's saying, do not wait for the perfect friend to do the works of the good. You waited anxiously for that sister individual at the doorstep. And the marriage, like the twin soul, and the marriage brought someone to claim sacrifice and tenderness from you. You were counting on your child. When your child reached youth without listening to your hopes. You relayed on the friend of ideal. And suddenly you received a vinegar mixture in your friendship where you sipped pure water from which you sipped pure water. You kept your faith in the advisor who deserved your veneration. And one day, even your advisor disappeared from your eyes, engulfed by terrible mistakes. However, though the pain of losing Remain the uplifting works that you came to accomplish. Nobody reproaches the infirm because he suffers of bad mood. Nobody censors the tree that stopped producing because the lumberjack cut off its front, front arms. Almost always, those we take for sweeter affections, believing to embrace them as support for the struggle, symbolize tasks that require renunciation and apostolate that demands love. The ice of indifference does not matter, neither the roar of incomprehension if we seek to serve. The most beautiful heart that beat among humanity, breathed in the crowd and followed alone. He had legions of angelic spirits and he took advantage of the aid of fragile friends who abandoned him in the extreme hour. He helped everyone and wept, wept without anyone. But when he carried out the cross on the rugged mountain, he taught us that the wings of immortality can be extracted from the burden of affliction and that in the moral territory of goodness, no soul walks alone because it lives peacefully in the presence of God. That's the shield of life. Can you maybe ask, what is the shield again? What is the shield again? It's saying to us, the people who come along and do not come along in the ideals of our lives, 
They may be aliens of the past. They may be people whom were not family in spiritual terms, spiritual family. You know that in spiritism, we understand that there are two types of family. It's family of material ties and the one of spiritual ties. We're talking now about the spiritual ties. It's easy. We're long. We rejoice. We have fun. But that of material ties that do not mingle with the spiritual ties, it's very hard. We experience the ice of indifferent, indifference, don't we? Mm -hmm. Sometimes in the child you've raised, sometimes as uh, Albino Teixeira says, the very person who guided your path in one day gives their back to you. And you feel the loss. So he talks about the pain of suffering, the loss. But he says, the pain of the loss, the ice of indifference, the roar of incomprehension cannot stop us from serving, from doing uplifting works. And he brings us the model, Jesus. He had angels helping him out. He was here in a divine mission and yet... He had to do most of these things, materially speaking, alone. But you see, you and I are not alone. Because we have each other here, right? We do. We're not alone. We have the good spirits. So the shield of life is to keep serving and keep serving not outside of our homes, beginning in our homes. Is it hard? Super hard, because we are not evolved that much yet. If I were more evolved, I could easily see indifference and comprehension and say, oh, not feel affected. But we do, right? We do. So we need a shield. What is a shield? Something that helps protect us. How? The shield of understanding. Because once we understand that the other person is only doing for themselves, not for you, not for me. And science tells us about emotional shielding. I may feel influenced by that person. I agree. Because their irritation, incomprehension, and indifference really may eat us up, but then we have a choice. And here is the true shield. Albino Teixeira is asking us to do something that nowadays positive psychology is pushing us to that direction. Make a decision. Do not simply feel contaminated by everything around, like during this pandemic. If you talk to people, they're like, they're tired of the pandemic. Me too. Who is not? Raise your hand. Of course, we're tired of this. Of course, it's hard. People say, oh, I feel this and that. It is hard. But then I make a decision because I'm not an animal. I'm human. I have a choice. In my conscience and free will, I can choose. And I can choose, as Albino Teixeira says, to serve to still do the uplifting works, to visualize my loved ones enveloped in a beautiful light. And the people who are having a hard time because of their indifference and incomprehension, enveloped by much love, 
and begin anew every day. Every day, we're going to begin anew. Every day, you and I are being asked to reset. When we talk about reconciliation, we're talking about reset. If people say, I can't, can't reset. That person did this to me. At the end of the day, if I am feeling that way, I am asking life not to forgive myself either. I attract what I give. So let me show you a, we like the whiteboard, right? I know you like it. Yes, tell me if you like it. We love it. It's the law of the mental field, Andrea Louis says, the law of the mental field. And the law of the mental field is like this, okay? So let us go there. All right. And there you go. Actually, all right. Right, let me go here. Draw. Let's draw the law of the mental field. Whoa, super pink. Let's put some other color here, shall we, friends? Okay. And now, Andre Luis says, I attract what I emit. So if I emit this, I am going to attract this. Oh, I'm sorry, it doesn't look the same, does it? No, it doesn't, I agree. Undo, undo, undo this. Uh-huh. So let us go here. Oops. Okay, hold on a second. There you go. Let's say it's the same color. So I'm gonna attract the same thing. You know, still doesn't look a lot. I'm drawing for those who are just listening to cardiac radio, I'm drawing arrows. I'm emitting arrows, <laughs> blue arrows, and I'm attracting. I attract, that's the rule of thumb for us. As Andre Luis says, we attract what we emit. That's the law. So if I want, by any chance, if I want to attract the good, I need to emanate the good. But you say, but Vanessa, I've been doing it and doesn't work. Remember, we're talking about the timeline of life, right? Yes. You and I are talking about immortal life. So we today are receiving what we have created for lives. But if we want to change it, we need to sow differently today. So we need to raise our vibrations. We want peace and harmony, conquer it, earn it. We have to earn it. Nothing comes without us conquering it. Albino Teixeira today is inviting you and I to work on this emotional spiritual shielding, which is to serve God, do uplifting works, irrespective of the scenario. Well, Vanessa, that person is doing this to me. So I'll tell you a story, true account. The other day, a child that I know of had a teacher, science teacher, very, she was like always oh, screaming with the students, etc. Couldn't hear well in the Zoom because she didn't use the headset. 
And we could, right, battle with the teacher, the parents could. And then mentor Joseph recommended, why not doing something you've never done? Hmm? And then I asked, what do you mean the parents can do something beautiful? Why not bringing a flower, a bouquet of flowers to that teacher and a kind note saying how much you appreciate her lesson and how much more important it would be to listen to her well because her subject is so important, her class is so important. You appreciate it. See, there is always a new way instead of reacting, taking action. So today you and I are being invited to change our reactivity, stop that chain of reactivity, shield ourselves, focused on the good, be respective of what is happening around us. Do you believe in the good or do you believe in the supremacy of evil? I don't. That message in the book, The Spirit of Truth, days ago, when we were advised by Andrea Lewis, do not believe in the supremacy of evil. We don't. We believe in the good and in the good and in the good. And we want to do. do the good, do the good, do the good, do the good. Yes, galloping on the good, the exercise in the next 24 hours for you and I, what is that going to be? Because we are deciding on healing, right? We are going to seek to serve. It's a sentence given by Albino Teixeira. We're going to focus on uplifting works and serve whatever we are through thoughts, through feelings, through words and actions. Can we do that? Yes, you can. I can. We can. Yes, we can. Serve. Seek to serve. In the next 24 hours, you and I are going to be inspired by Jesus, Albino Teixeira, Allan Kardec, and seek to serve at home, at work, with our relatives, neighbors, communities, wherever we are including during sleep time, where we're also going to use that time for the best, the best opportunity to be instructed, to be treated, and to be useful. Thank you, friends, for being with us at Cardiac Radio once again. If you have any questions, let us know. Type it in here. I'll keep an eye. I will reply. And let us stay tuned. Tuned with the spirit of truth. Today, the truth deliver the proposal that seek to serve the uplifting works and thus we will fulfill God's will. Thank you friends for being together today and always see you tomorrow.